everyone, welcome to The Restaurant Show, and I tell you what, we have got a fantastic day ahead. Uh, we're going to go over to Wise Guys, and we're going to make shrimp and grits. Greg, thank you, one of my favorites. <laughs> and then we're going to head over to Bluffton with a really new and really cool concept I think you guys are going to enjoy. It is the Village Pasta Shop, and they're going to show us what they have to offer over there. And of course, we're going to touch back in with Amy at Skillets to celebrate her 20th birthday. So stay tuned, guys. We've got a lot of great eating ahead. Welcome to the restaurant show, and I have the fantastic executive chef Greg Tucker from Wise Guys. And uh, I haven't—you haven't been on a while. We had Cheetah on last time, yeah, talking drinks mm -hmm. and cocktails, crafting cocktails with them. But today, you are going to show us actually one of my favorites: shrimp and grits. Yes. All right, so we're we're already getting everything heated up. So let's go ahead and start. But uh, now these are one of the things on your entrees mm -hmm. menu, right? The, not just tapas. Right but your beautiful um, entree. And I know you're rolling out some new menus soon. Yeah, we actually just started our new menu this week. Oh, fantastic. Um, so we still have a lot of the old favorites. Like this is one of our signature entrees. Yes, that I love it. It's, you know, it's just a beautiful dish. Yes. Um, but then we have some of our newer stuff, a couple new small plates, new yeah. entrees, some of those new, new steaks, creations. Very uh, exciting. Some of the new stuff. So yeah, <laughs> it's pretty fun. It's been a, it's been a good week. So good, 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 we'll good. Just keep going from there. All right. So let's go ahead. How do we get the shrimp and grits started? Uh, first things first. I have my grits. I already had these cooked off before. Okay. And that's something you can do. Is you know you make one big batch and then just yeah. bring it back to life. And they're going to show us how it. to do this. Yep. Okay. And I will do that. I just take some regular whole butter. Okay. Do you like using salted pan. or unsalted? I prefer unsalted. Okay. Uh, just because I can control That's how true. much of the yeah. actual seasoning goes into it. If a I use the salted, are, I don't know. And a lot of people do suggest that when you're cooking with it, right, yeah. is using unsalted so yes. you can control it. Like in my own house, I keep both. Right, right. Because I want the salted on my yeah, toast. I like salt, right? But exactly. I have to. I want to cook with the unsalted. unsalted. Okay. Because there's the, that control thing. Good of it. deal. And um, now these so are I'm, just some creamy. Uh, yeah, these are grits. creamy smoked gouda grits. Oh my gosh! Uh, we use a, a coarse ground. It's yellow, and it's Love you know it. larger pieces of grits, okay. so you don't get that smooth texture that a lot of people are kind of. You're gonna get a little off grit about. to yeah, it. Yeah, you get an actual <laughs> grit to this. <laughs> And we finish it with cream, butter, okay. smoked gouda. But here you're just and bringing it back right to life. what I'm doing right now, yeah, okay. is just bringing it back to life. So I'm going to spread it out in my pan okay. with the just butter like that. Oh my and God. just slowly bring that back up. I mean, if you need me to just taste it, make sure it's okay, I can do that. <laughs> Oh, we'll I get could to just that. eat all those grits oh, yeah. and I'd be done. I eat those cold. I know. I, have no problem so with them. I just love them. Okay. Uh, so now we're so going to get into the other pan. Good while stuff. I've got the grits heating up, okay. I'm going to start getting my garnishes together. Perfect. Uh, in here, I've got some roasted mushrooms and andouille sausage. Oh, that's and good. I'm going to keep this all on one side of the pan. Okay. Um, so the mushrooms and the then the mushrooms have already been kind of sautéed off already. Yeah, I Again. roast those in the oven just to oh. make it go a little bit faster. Yeah. Cook a lot of the excess moisture out of it. I love it. Oh, that's good stuff. And this is, you know, shrimp and grits are very versatile. You oh, can yeah. put all kinds of stuff in it, but this is what makes your signature. Obviously. Yeah, this is just how oh. we do it at Wise Guys for okay. our way of doing it. Um, I got some grape tomatoes that I've got split. Love Those it. are going to go nice right color after that. Too. Oh, yeah, definitely. And now, why are you separating it? Um, in the, why are you doing different sections of the pan? Uh, realistically, a lot of it's because they just kind of cook at different speeds. Okay. So I'm going to start them apart, and then as they're getting to where I need them, yeah. then I'm going to start putting them back together. I love it. I love it. Um, and then in this far side of the pan, I'm going to start getting the shrimp cooked. So you're so going to put a little everything. oil down. Yeah. And all those flavors are just going to stay right there in that pan. You don't yep. lose anything. I then everything it. goes together that way, you know? Yeah. And what kind of, uh, now these are obviously already peeled and yeah. deveined, guys. Correct. Or if you're at the uh, store, it would say PD. Yeah, it'll say Something P like that. and D. P and D is, is and that what that means. stands for peeled and deveined. Gotcha. So you don't have to do any of the dirty work. Exactly. <laughs> but some people don't want to do that, or they don't know how to. Yeah. And it's, you know, it's not always the easiest no, thing in the world. No, and time consuming sometimes. Definitely. A um, little salt and pepper okay. just on the shrimp itself. Got it. And this is just a good old salt and pepper mix. Do you keep that pretty much next to the stove? Yeah. Whether at your home or even yep. at the restaurant? Same I'll have here. A blend like that that I, I have 
my preferred proportion. Right, right, right. Of the pepper to the salt. Right. Um, and I'll keep that around me, but I'll also still have my separates because some, yeah. you know, some recipes you need more of oh, this, yeah. less of that. I also like to do this at home and add like a, maybe a little garlic into it, just yeah. for like a like a seasoning at your house. Oh yeah. To keep on hand all the time. And you can do, you know, even a little paprika yeah. in it. Oh yeah, for a little well. color. Yeah, absolutely. A little color. A little smokiness. Yes. All right, so now that I've got some of that stuff kind of where I'm at, okay. I'm going to push that all together, and that's just going to keep heating up it. as it goes. Then I've got this baby spinach. Beautiful. And that's going to go right into that last little part there. And that's going to go there. quickly. Yeah. That's going to... And you need a lot more than you think you do. Yes. <laughs> Always need a lot more I than agree. you think you do. I Because totally it agree. will shrink up. A lot. So that's perfect. So everything is in that one pan. Yep. And of course, I know we were talking about it earlier. And if you're doing this at home, definitely do that. And I asked Greg, why do you like to do that if you're at home? <laughs> yeah. For and me, why? <laughs> there, there's two reasons. One is definitely from a flavor standpoint, because I'm right. going to get all of those flavors cooking together oh, all in yeah. the same pan. And then the other half of it is, I don't like doing dishes. Yeah. <laughs> I really don't. Not like don't. at the restaurant you can give it to somebody to yeah, do. You gotta do them now yourself. <laughs> exactly. When I'm at home, I don't. I don't have an hourly employee yeah. that I can, you know, just hand, hand it off to. Right, right. So, so when I'm doing it at home, I'll try to do as much stuff in one like, pan as yeah. I can, make it easier make on it myself. Easier. Your time is if precious. If at all possible. Exactly. Now, um, now as we're letting this finish off, because I know we're starting to run out of time. Mm -hmm. um, now, this is part of. The, your entrees and that beautiful dining room that you guys have. I think yes. some people don't even know about it because it's actually in the back part of the restaurant. Correct. So you want to be able to um, check that out. And you do early dining from what time now? That starts at 5 o'clock when we open. Okay. And then it goes all the way until 5.45 when we close. Perfect. Or and uh, it's, when that finishes out. And it's easy. Oh, if yeah. If you come in by 5.45, you got to be seated. Um, just order whatever you want. Right, yeah. basically, there's no certain menu. Order whatever you want, yeah. and you get 25% off. Is that yeah. right? Yeah, that's, that's our deal. Is the entire check is 25%. You don't off. have to order a specific thing. You don't have to pick from this or this. Just pick what you want. Right. And that's what's great about Wise Guys. Just pick yeah. what you want to eat. Drink what you want to drink, and then you can get a beautiful uh, entree like this. A beautiful dinner. Have a nice wine. What wine would you suggest? Uh, you know, because of what's coming with this, you can go red or white. Perfect. I personally prefer a drier white. Okay, I would like a white too, I think, with it, especially being so warm off. Yeah. And then what's this sauce that you're And this there? sauce oh. right here is a Creole mustard beurre blanc. Oh, so that's it. a butter sauce. Yeah, I love it. And we just fold some Creole mustard into it. And the Creole mustard, what makes it that way is just there's some wine yeah, of mixed course. in <laughs> with the mustard when they actually make it. All right, it. let's plate All right, that up so and now check we're that this out. Plate it up. You Thank a lot you of good colors. So I'm just going to stack this right on top. Of the grits themselves, all so you get all are, of it yeah, together. I love it. All the juices. Thank you so much, Chef, for coming on and sharing this gorgeous signature dish over there at Wise Guys. Check them out. Reservations, they, they do take them. Oh, yeah. Um, and they're suggested Labor Day weekend coming up, but um, definitely check them out. Check out their early dining and, of course, um, their happy hour, too, and their beautiful drinks that they have. Thank you. Thank you. And um, be sure to ask for them. Thank you guys, we'll nice. be back in just a moment. Thank you so much, Chef Greg. That Wise Guy's signature dish, shrimp and grits, definitely one of my favorites. All right, up next, we have the Village Pasta Shop. And if you have trouble getting a great meal together, they've got the answer for you coming up next. everyone welcome to the restaurant show and I tell you what we are we have the gourmet pasta ready to go for you and this is a really new and exciting concept out in Bluffton and I have uh, the owner Connie Rockhill and also executive chef Lynn Hicks and they're gonna show us what kind of magic goes on <laughs> what, we are. this is a very exciting concept especially for someone who for me lives in Bluffton doesn't have all the time to cook, but really wants to eat good food. <laughs> and I have no idea how to make Italian food. So right there, you're already my dream come true. What do we have here, Connie? Tell me a little bit about the concept. Well, the concept was uh, decided over lunch one day that oh. <laughs> we needed a pasta shop here yeah. in Bluffton. So uh, we approached the uh, Bernalini uh, company up in Charleston to right. be able to get the fresh pasta. And uh, this, the idea is to prepare um, Dishes to go. We like have this, them in yeah. two, two different sizes. We have for one to two people or three to four. Or three to four, and that's the right. difference there. Right. Mm -hmm. I would take this one <laughs> and not share. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I mean, yeah, there's leftovers. Uh, 
And so you would have these already, and you have all different types of. Right, we have a, we have a, a few signatures, like our uh, eggplant parmesan mm -hmm. and our bow tie lasagna is a basic two signatures, but and Lynn has uh, incorporated one. some wonderful other dishes as we go, so we have yeah. a lot of specials. Uh, we, you can Facebook us on Facebook. Oh, make sure you Facebook them, yes, yeah. absolutely. And uh, we can, uh, we'll put our specials out that we have uh, going on, uh, you know, during the day and so on and so okay. forth. So we try to incorporate some locals. Uh, we have. Uh, uh, some interesting sausage handmade uh, love it. by a uh, uh, gentleman that comes in and makes our sausage for okay. us. We have um, uh, the uh, cheeses. Uh, the, and the sauces. The sauces I, I make, uh, they're a secret recipe from Peggy May. Oh. I'm not allowed to even tell Chef no. Matt. I, I don't no. even know. Wow. And, so that's so, one job I know. Yeah. She makes the marinara every day. It's a family secret. I love uh, it. God bless her. She uh, shared uh, her eggplant parmesan, was her older yeah. cousin's uh, yeah. recipe, and so we're not allowed to uh, tell now, this anything is, about that. But the key thing about this though is you are not a sit-down restaurant so no, don't come no. in and haul the whole family over there yeah. right. you just stop by after work or whatever it is it, right. during your lunch break and you can come by and buy it yes. and finish it right. off it's a gourmet mm -hmm. meal to go exactly is the we key have here fresh breads available um, the dinner the can uh, I see that baguette really quick I've been eyeing it up. which one that you want um, the ciabatta the, the, small, the small one I guess oh, because yeah. now this you could <laughs> Buy this yes. Yes. with all the other sauces or yes. wh whatever it is. And like you were saying, rip it, put it in the oven yes. and tell me about how do I cook this off because it's not all the way cooked yet. No, uh, we get it from Tribeca Bakery in New Jersey and uh, we get it in par-baked, yeah, frozen, I and then you it. come to the shop and we give it to you frozen and then you bake it off at home. Ah, and, you and that's pick, where I get that yes, marinara, you can Peggy Mae's marinara. Yes, yeah, so you can pick up some marinara. And you can get a couple baguettes and pick up some of our Italian meatballs yeah. and sausages. And one meal is is that you just bake that off. You know, you combine, you bake your sausage and the meatballs and put it in the sauce. And then you have a meatball sandwich. Or rip sandwich. the spread apart and dip yeah. it in there with our waiting. <laughs> great aged Asiago yeah, cheese. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. Well, good deal. Okay, so you're going to show us then yes. um, what the magic is of what you're putting in, and then you're putting in here. And this is by the pound, or how do you? Sell we, we actually sell it by the pound. Okay, so, so that's what it is. Let's go and get that started. Yeah. Uh, I'm can, gonna, can, uh, they, they can run anywhere from a pound and a half to three pounds. Gotcha. And so basically, and then we can, they can also bring in um, their own trays. And oh, we, that's really good. Yeah. So if I, now picture this to be a beautiful <laughs> tray. Right. I can bring this in yes. and you can put the bow tie we'll, lasagna we'll, in there? We'll put uh, lasagna with lasagna sheets or. Oh, I love uh, it. We'll yeah. We'll do eggplant parmesan in it. We'll do a, you know, rigatoni. We, Whatever your wishes are, we do large mac and cheeses oh for gosh, parties and stuff. And big trays of it you can do yeah, also. Yeah, we can do big yeah. trays. Now, and I just want to, uh, you had brought it up already, and I know you're starting to heat up the vodka sauce. Yes, I'm oh. heating up the vodka sauce, and I'm going to add, uh, we have breaded chicken that is uh, we have available all the time. So you can add the vodka sauce, you can add uh, sausages, uh, cut crushed meatballs yeah. if you want. You can do the bits of the uh, breaded chicken breast. I love it, I love and it. And so I'm going to get this here, and then I'm going to add... Okay, I'm going to start moving some of this over. But I do have a question for you, Connie. Um, you had brought up that you t were talking to the pasta guy, that you were mm -hmm. um, in cahoots with him. Uh -huh. And um, so that's the guy that, that's the pasta guy at the farmer's market. Exactly. Yes. So I don't have to wait till Thursday? Right, exactly. Right. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. So you can come and get some of his fresh made pastas at the pot at the village pasta shop tell me where it's at again the village pasta it's shop it's on 10 b johnson way it's in the uh, area where the library and the post office <gasps> library is. and post office and they have some great events there too they do. During, we, so we that's do have another a food way fest yeah, yeah. And, uh, which is fantastic that was a fun food fest that was a great time very good yeah, <laughs> yeah. okay so we're, i'm going to put this over here so we can actually check out you plating mm -hmm. it up um, and then also uh, what time, what, what are you open? We're open from uh, Monday to th Friday, um, 10 to 4. Okay. And uh, 10 to 6, excuse 10 me. 10 to 6, yep. 10 to 4 on Saturday, so okay. closed on Sunday. Okay, and also, if I want to order something, because you were saying, um, Chef, that if I want to get this, I would mm -hmm. buy the pasta, yes. I'd buy the sauce, and I'd buy the chicken. Mm -hmm. So this isn't heated up, though, when I come and get it, though, right? No, it's not. Okay. But you also can take that dish, we create it, and we put it and in And then these. you could, so that's the different so all options. They can, all they got to do is put it in the oven, so because they can either make it themselves, or we can Or you it. can have it ready. And these are oven ready, oven obviously ready. not with the, with the plastic top. Right, exactly. But oven ready, or I can also come there on Tuesday, knowing that I'm not going to cook it Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday, stick this in the freezer, right, right. and I can... And I can cook this 
uh, uh, right out of the pan. Exactly. Just stick it in the I oven, and then the last four minutes, you can stick your bread in. And, have and there's bread. ingredients. Oh, mm -hmm. folks, yeah. there's ingredient. There's um, I'm sorry. There is uh, directions right on the label there. Yeah. I love it. So it's perfect. So everything yeah. is already done for you. You just have to turn the oven on. You just have to turn the it? oven on. Turn your I stove love on. It. And By here the time we go. Wine gets to break. Yeah. yeah, and we have. This. Oh, and you do sell wine oh, there too. Yeah. So we're we picking up some everything. Wine going here. I love it. Let's grab one. Yeah, I love this. And this you is go, orchids. This is totally homemade. Here, we'll yes. put that down. Me, go I'll ahead. probably yes. spill it. This is totally homemade. Um, you just didn't have to make it. <laughs> they got to make it for you. Yes. And again, you know, it's not a sit-down restaurant, but definitely take this gourmet meal to go. Heat it up at your house. Um, and all the hard work is done for you. You just need to stick in the oven and enjoy it. Enjoy. I yes. love it. Ladies, thank you. Thank yeah, you, good. Connie. Here. Thank you. Right. We'll share. Yeah, we'll share. <laughs> and remember, and we're just, dry. Oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> and just remember um, that they do have everything that you need for a beautiful Italian meal. Um, you can call them, and they're right over there on uh, the right there by the post office and the library. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you guys for joining us. Thank and we'll be you. back in just a moment. Thank you so much, Chef and Connie, for sharing that really great way to make a gourmet meal and with a little help from our friends at the pasta shop. And up next, I have celebrations with Amy and Skillets, and they're going to show us the employee favorites over the past 20 years. Welcome to the restaurant show, and we are having another birthday party <laughs> with Amy and her fantastic crew from Skillets. It's your 20 year old birthday girl. Yes. <laughs> you look good. I don't know that. Would you really go back to being yeah. 20? No, I don't know. You I know. know if I could do what I know now. Yeah, yeah there absolutely. you go. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> well, yes. you know, again, we, um, we're kind of showing off your crew, the food that you have, and what's really brought you to success for the past 20 years. And it looks like you've got two key people here. I love I it. <laughs> you know, it's, it is the food, but it's the staff. I agree. That really makes your I, business. I just got the chills from you saying that because that's very true. I've been very fortunate to have staff that has worked for me for a very long time. Yeah, apps, I agree. And it does make a difference because you could have the best food in the world, but if your staff doesn't follow up with great service and great attitudes, then you can't stay in business for 20 years, yeah. right? <laughs> All right, so tell, okay, so who do we have on board and what are they bringing us today? This is Jeremy. Hey, Hi, I'm Jeremy. Jeremy. <laughs> and you have worked with me for how long? Since 2005. All right, good deal. Mm. That's a while. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so what's your favorite? <laughs> My favorite is the, the French dip. Oh, looks so good. Thin sliced prime rib. Mm -hmm. The beautiful au jus. Yeah. Oh, look at him. I'm, I'm thinking a foodie right here. Right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. TV does you well. Yeah. Delicious and beautiful. <laughs> and don't forget our homemade potato chips. I love it. I Seasoned love it. Seasoned right. So now this is something that you obviously suggest. Oh, yeah. And is this also something you usually eat, too, for I, your lunch? <laughs> I, like be, I like eating full. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. And I have to admit, though, that is something that's true. If the employees are eating it, more than likely that's something you should be ordering, right? <laughs> Good deal. Okay, so who else do we have here? <laughs> this is Francisco. Hi, Francisco. Uh, <laughs> and Francisco's favorite is? Eggs Florentine. Eggs Florentine. I really love it. I'm going to move it right up here. With fruit, huh? Yes. Tell me uh, a little bit about this one. Wow, the very nice, I mean, the very good flavor is yes. the green cheese with the spinach. Oh, so good. Uh, I love you it. know, and the poached eggs. Yes. And it's my, and, and everyone loves it when they order this, don't they? It With is. that hollandaise sauce. Mm -hmm. So whenever you suggest this, you know you don't have to, you know the table's going to be happy. <laughs> now, I know Francisco's been with you for so, quite some time, right? He has. <laughs> Francisco, how long have we worked together? Uh, I started in 1997. The first, first <laughs> fact that he said 19, right? <laughs> That's a long time, right? <laughs> so it has been, what, 16 years you've been About, thinking? about, oh yes. Oh my uh -huh. gosh. I've been very fortunate to not only have him. Yes. But I've had a lot of his family members right. that to this day still work with me as I, well. I love it. And um, the screen wasn't big enough for us to yes, bring all of his family. <laughs> That's going to be the family reunion, <laughs> right, Francisco? Yes, right. <laughs> now, Francisco, one, tell me, um, what is one of your favorite things about working at Amy's place at Skillets? And there's so many, probably. There's so many. There's so many, right? Uh, the staff is great to work I, with. I, like, I really like service the people, you know. Yeah. Make it happy, you know. I recommend the 
like your favorite. Exactly. Yes, and everyone yes. leaves there happy. Mm -hmm. I love it. I, and, I love and um and I know one of these. This is one of the favorites, also, right? Yeah, this is another customer favorite. Yes. When people always ask us what we should order. Um, this is another customer favorite. It's an apricot and cream cheese stuffed French toast. It. And of course with? You can get a side of bacon, you can get a side of sausage. I love it. I love yes. it. And yeah, or eggs. Oh, now, okay, now Jeremy, tell me yeah, about this one. I was going to say, one. Jeremy, you so talked about this one. I know when Amy was putting this together, you're like, yep, that's the one. <laughs> no, it's another one of my favorites because yeah, good. you get a side of sausage, you get a side of eggs, yes. and you get your nice, delicious waffle with the honey butter yes. and apricot. Or the pecan. <laughs> I love. I know. There's a lot I'm of food here. He was about that French toast. He's like, I love that apricot French toast. <laughs> um, and Francisco, tell me the pancakes. You must serve a ton of pancakes. <laughs> well, the pancakes very good because my son-in-law makes. Oh. <laughs> well, then there we go. Show done. <laughs> and I was going to say too. And we're also doing gluten-free pancakes and oh. waffles as well, since we're talking about the pancakes. And that's and we all know that's a big everybody. deal right now. Is even if you're not um, diagnosed that you need to be gluten-free, a lot of people are eating gluten-free yes. just because it's, it's healthy. Yes. So, um, so these are one of the best things because your son-in-law makes it. <laughs> wow, he, your son-in-law was pretty lucky. <laughs> he just plugged. He's not even on the show. And you just plugged him. That's awesome. <laughs> now, Amy, tell us about what you're doing for your guests to celebrate 20 years of great service well, and food. Beginning August 15th and running through the end of the month, the 31st, okay. we, in honor of 20 years, yes. are going to give 20% off to everyone that comes in and mentions our birthday, our 20-year birthday. That's great. So just 20, just 20 you, mm -hmm. you just sit down and you say, happy birthday, Amy. <laughs> or <laughs> happy staff birthday or to skillets. Happy yes. birthday. And you're going to give them 20% off. We are. I love it. And not just one time, but every time that you come in and join us for right. those two weeks. Now, it is nearing the end of summer, and I know Labor Day is just right around the corner. So even up until the 31st, which that's a, you guys got to get in there because it is going to be so slam packed. <laughs> and especially now with the 20% off, right? Yes. Um, and now tell me again, just hours of operation so we can get in there at the right time. Well, we're open every day, mm -hmm. and we open from 7 in the morning until 10 p.m. at night. Oh, wow. That's long. And breakfast and lunch is served until 4.30 every day. Gotcha. And when are you there, Francisco? Because you know you want to ask for this guy. He knows the ropes. <laughs> I work 6.30 to 2. Till 2. Okay, yeah, so if you, want, mm -hmm. if you want fantastic service in the morning, we're going to see Francisco. Jeremy, when are you on deck? Just whenever, I, He's whenever my Amy. Weekend. He's oh, my you're gonna, oh, so you're yeah. going to get the craziness of Labor Day weekend oh, and yeah. so forth. But you love it, though, don't you? I love it. And you get all, and you know, it's, you have so many great shops over there in Caligny and so many great things to do. Coming off the beach and just getting a snack to eat or go ahead and having dinner or You know, lunch. I was going to mention real quickly, too, we're such a family restaurant and it helps having servers that have their own children. Yeah. Um, young and older yeah. now that have grown up. But Absolutely. We, have, we really have a good family. Yeah. You can um, tell. Employees and staff that can help you with your families and making their choices. I love it. I love it. Well, congratulations again. Happy birthday. Great job, you guys. Thank you. And we've really had a really good time with you guys the past two shows, showing off all this <laughs> great food that I get to eat afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. And Amy, good luck in the next few weeks. Um, I know that in, I know that in the fall coming up, you're going to have even more things going on. Yes. But remember, 20 years of great service and great food. Thanks, guys. Thank you. You're welcome. Go ahead, Francisco. No? One more thing. <laughs> He's like, come and see my daughter, too. <laughs> I love it. Time to try. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Thanks so much, you guys. We'll be back in just a moment. Thank you so much, y'all, for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed that shrimp and grits with that dooley sausage from Wise Guys, one of my favorites. And of course, I really enjoyed the new concept out there in Bluffton, the Village Pasta Shop with some beautiful homemade Italian meals that you can really just finish off and pass off as your own. Um, and of course, uh, happy birthday to Amy and Skillets. Uh, what a fantastic uh, feat that you've accomplished here on the Low Country and some beautiful food that you've been putting out for 20 years. And remember y'all, always have fun eating your way through the Low Country.